Hi, I'm Maggie Harding with the Eileen Hull Design Team for Sizzix. And today I'm going to make this cute little birdhouse. I'm going to be using Eileen Hull's birdhouse die. This is a big XL scoreboard die. And so what that means is that when you run this die through your machine, all the little lines, you probably can't see them on this black, but um, where the folds are, it's going to go ahead and make a score for you. So when I uh, run it through the machine, we'll be able to see it better. So now let's get started. So I have here a piece of white mat board. Sizzix makes this. You can use chipboard if you like. I like to use this mat board. And I have an adhesive sheet here, and I have cut this to, and, and I've cut my design paper to eight and three quarters by six, and nothing really magical about that. It's the smallest size piece of paper I could cut to die cut the birdhouse body. So now. When you're using these XL dies, I think the most important thing to do to get really nice crisp folds and so that your paper doesn't tear and all of that is to apply an adhesive sheet to your mat board. I'm just doing that now. Make sure that you burnish it down really well. Now put your design paper on here. You want to do this before you die cut it. That way it just comes out so nicely. You don't really need to burnish that down because when it goes through the machine, the machine is going to do it. So then take your die and lay your paper face down on the die. And then run it through your machine. Now I think the directions are going to tell you to run it with the uh, paper face up, but I like to do it this way. I find that the plates don't bend as much if I make my sandwich with the paper down. So I'll be right back. I'm going to run this through. Okay, so here is the body of my birdhouse, and it came from right here. So it has gone ahead and scored my lines, and so everything folds really nicely. You don't have to worry about paper ripping and tearing and so forth. So that's going to be the body of this cute little birdhouse. Now we're going to do the roof. I'm going to do the very same thing. I'm going to put my adhesive sheet on the map board, then my design paper, and then die cut it. Okay, so now I'm going to just put this over top where the roof is and run it through. Okay, there's our little roof. Isn't that cute? adhesive on there. Okay. Now to put this together, I'm going to use a little, some score tape here. And I'm going to set this on my work surface to put it together so that it's nice and flat. There we go. Okay. The roof's going to fit just like that. Now, before I adhere the roof, I want to ink it up a little bit. Now, I'm going to take a big brush pen. I'm going to very carefully ink inside the score lines. You have to be really careful when you do this because one slip of the brush 
and you've got green ink on your design paper. And that does, that just happened to me. Fortunately, the pattern's pretty busy, so it doesn't show. And if worse comes to worse, we'll put a flower on top of it. Okay. Pretty simple, huh? Now I'm going to put some score tape on these two flaps. So now I want to add a little perch, and I'm going to use this um, wooden skewer. I'm just going to punch a little hole here, the bottom, or near the bottom, so that I can uh, put the per uh, perch through there. So I'm going to put it in the center, which is at about 7 eighths of an inch. I'm just going to mark it because I'm not very good at eyeballing. And I'm going to use this to punch that hole. There we go. One bird perch. Okay, now let's put the roof on. So you remember we put some score tape on the sides here. Peel that off. And I've got some glue here and I'm going to put just a little thin line of glue along the eave here. And now we're just going to take the roof and put it on. So let's get the back and the front about equal. That looks good. And then you can just press it in place and reach inside and press those two tabs down. Okay, and there we have a cute little birdhouse. Okay, we need to make some little flowers for our house, and so I am going to be using the bookmark tags and pocket stenlet set. And I have gone ahead and cut some flowers, so I've cut some of the larger size and the medium size and the little small ones. And I also cut some leaves. So now I'll show you how I make flowers. First, you want to take your scissors and cut between the petals here. That will allow you to manipulate the paper a little better. So just cut between all your petals. I'm going to use a flower shaping tool. This is by McGill, but any kind of a ball stylus will work. And in a pinch, you can use, um, oh gosh, all kinds of things. I've used the end of a pencil. So, so you just want to roll it around and break down the fibers in the paper. Okay, I like to use a straight edge tweezer for this next part. Grasp the petal and give it a twist. Now let's do a different kind of flower. So you can take the handle of a paintbrush and you can curl your petals. Any kind of anything that's thin like that uh, wooden dowel that we use to make our birdhouse perch. Now I'm going to take my stylus here I should have done that first, but 
I don't follow rules very well.